these are some army paint uh army painter paints that i got um before that were um, part of a dnd set the under dark um set comes with like uh 10 paints i think um but the problem is is all the pigment settles to the bottom so you see the top of this is green and then the, the bottom is almost like a copper color but it should all be one color um because it just settles so what i did is i got these mixing balls from army painter um i don't understand well maybe i kind of understand maybe they didn't realize this was a problem at first um and then they came out with these but you would think that just like a spray can or whatever that it would come with the ball in it um because this is a hundred of these for like ten dollars so just charge 20 cents extra on your paints and have each one include it because they say you gotta shake them for anywhere from two to five minutes um if you don't have that ball in there and that's supposed to be only like 30 seconds if there's a ball in there so um what you gotta do is take this top off i want to do this without hurting it okay i can oh you know what before i can take that completely out let me open these up so i'm not trying to do that with the lid off because i kind of don't want to put this lid down i can already tell there's going to be some paint in it. oh my god these balls are rolling everywhere okay ah okay so ah. oh shit so i'm still having this problem where i am looking at myself and not the I wonder how I would train myself to not do that. I'm sure I would eventually get used to it, but like, okay. So take this off. I'm gonna hold this in this hand. And what I'm gonna do is drop one of those balls in here. Okay, ball into here. And they say that these balls are like non-rusting non or something like that. They have some tests that they did where it like uh, other mixing balls compared to these ones and the other ones, uh, the water or vinegar or something changes color. Um, so I put that lid back in. So now you can hear that ball in there. So let's shake it up. Still kind of green up there on the top. So, I don't even know if you can hear this, but this is without the ball in it. So it's not like agitating. So yeah, I could see that taking a long time to shake. Um, okay, so that's brown here. It's still a little green on top. I'm not sure how separated this got. I'm gonna open these other two. So these, um, I'm gonna do all 10 of these, but these three colors from the tutorial that I saw online are the colors that I need out of this one to paint the um, miniature that I have. I've never painted a miniature before. Well, I guess I, I altered one. I repainted its hair and its, um, skin tone because I'm playing a Baldalkin in the uh, Ravnica D&D campaign and uh, and I'm is it so they didn't really have anything that any miniatures that like kind of represented my character um, for that so I took the the companion starter set and the uh, is it she's like a warlock or wizard or something and i'm a fighter but um i mean most all is it's have that steampunky look and packs and things like that anyway um but uh she was a dark brown tone and had like black maybe real dark brown hair or black hair so um my character is blue being a valdalkin and she has white 
like platinum blonde hair. At the time, I just uh, ordered a white now, so I'm not sure if I'm going to repaint over it or try and mix it to make it a little more of a pale. Uh, but the uh, blonde that I colored was um, like a, a real soft, soft yellow. Not bright yellow, but it's not exactly um, what my character sheet says. And of course I made my character sheet so I can change it if I want, but she has um, platinum blonde hair. So I'm going to, oh my God. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna do that to these. And you don't need to see me do these ones because I showed you the other ones. So there, lid. Oh, I kind of don't want to mix these lids though either because they got a little bit of the color at the top, so. Oh man, this one's a little tough there, got it. At least they do make it fairly easy to put them all in there. Um, again, I just, just make them, just have them come with it. Um, seems to make more sense to me. There we go. That one must have been real stuck together. That took a while before you could hear that ball moving around in there. Maybe I'll just, uh, well, maybe before I start like a pink project, just watch like a video, not a like a movie or something and just like shake while I'm doing it. Okay. Uh, this gray, doesn't seem too separated. It must be fairly um, even, consistent color anyways. Um, and then this purple. Oh man. Hmm. I don't wanna put two in there. I guess you could, right? Um, I think some things do have to, to kind of just like get it doing its thing. I don't know, does it say in here? Um, doesn't have instructions on here. Maybe I'll watch some videos on it and see if it's better with two. I'm sure it's just stuff that's kind of like stuck on the walls um, and probably isn't really changing the color too awful much um, as far as what's stuck there. Uh, so I just wanted to do this test. I think, um, I don't know if it's weird that it's like dark behind me. Uh, I'll, well, I'll look, I'll see. Um, Cause there is some unboxings that I want to do. Um, a makeup one and then I got a couple things in today that I want to unbox and then um, I have a Kickstarter coming hopefully hopefully in less than a month but it might be uh, in about a month uh, it's coming from Poland and um, so I want to unbox those I don't know if I'm gonna do like separate ones or um, like one big unboxing I tend to like fairly short videos I'm trying to think of what like catches my attention like if it's too short I think I pass it by and then if it's too long I'm like ugh, no I think um maybe the three to five minute mark might be about the sweet spot for me although um this one girl that I watch her unboxings of um makeup subscription boxes um I think hers run between 10 and 15 minutes but she also does a try on portion. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do that um, because there's a lot of products that I don't end up using and I would like to keep them new so I can give them away. Uh, what I did last year for Christmas was all the extra products that I knew I wasn't gonna use because they were just not the right color or I already had so many um, eyeshadow palettes that I didn't need to start in and open another one just for one color out of it um, that uh, I made little gift bags for all the girls at work with um, an eyeshadow palette. 
I, I was able to give everyone an eyeshadow palette. Um, most people a face palette, like with um, blushes and bronzers. Um, if I didn't have a palette of that, they did have like a separate blush or bronzer. Um, I'm pretty sure almost everyone got a highlight, a mascara, uh, lip product. So uh, it was, and they liked it. So um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna do that again this year. Uh, so last year, the beginning of the year, I had uh, quite a few makeup prescription uh, subscription boxes going on. A lot of them were like little samples. And then I had two that had full product, full size products in them. Those are the only two that I do now, which is Ipsy Glam Bag Plus and BoxyCharm. Just the standard BoxyCharm. They have Oh, and I do get Boxy Lux quarterly. Um, I don't do the premium Boxy Lux, and I don't. I used to do the regular Ipsy, which is just samples, and then they also have like an Ipsy Ultimate, which doesn't really interest me because that's I think five to seven full size products, and then um, three deluxe samples, I believe. Um, but what I get now is five full-size products from each of those, and then the Boxy Luxe um, is quarterly, and I get that instead of the Boxy Charm that for that month. And uh, usually the palette of the month is the same, um, and then uh, you get I think eight or nine full-size products. And this, some of, sometimes those are more lifestyle geared and things like that. So I think this was a good test. Um, I need to stop touching this table. I need to figure that out or get a sturdier table. Because I think if I film at a sturdier table, then when I bump it, it's not going to bump the camera and the ring light with it. So that's that. This is the purple. Let's see what we're doing here on this. This is still fairly green on top, but you can see the brown in there now. Um, I don't have anything to test it on to make sure that it is the right color. You know what I should have done? Not you, you. What I should have done is done a little sample of what it looked like before I mixed it. Maybe, maybe I'll do that with one of the others. I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet. I, I'm wasn't really planning on doing a video video about that, but who knows? Maybe if I feel like I'm not looking too bad in this video and put it up as this is my test video, um, then we'll do okay. All right, so that's that. Bye.